Hey there, everybody. Um, today, um, we are going to be uh, talking about... Let me turn this down. We're going to be... We're, we're all talking on Discord, everybody. Um, we're going to be talking about um, the book I finished first for March Mystery Madness, which is um, Rafferty. Um, this was the book that won my... Um, read a chapter, is that what it was called? Oh man, I can't remember what the video was called. Um, where I just read the first chapter of three books that I was thinking about using for my single title prompt for March Mystery Madness. Okay, so Rafferty, the reason why this book won and intrigued me so much. This is by Bill S. Ballinger, by the way. It was because it um, was written from the point of view of a reporter who was friends with this cop who something horrible has happened to um, and we're trying to find out why. Not if he did the bad thing, but why he did the bad thing. And that was like a really intriguing um, thing. And Janelle from Too Fond of Books was, I'm like, what what kind of mystery would you call this? And she's like, it's not a who done it, it's a why done it. And she just sounded like, um, like uh, not someone from Scooby Doo, but like the like right before it cuts to commercial on Columbo or something. Um, but that cracked me up. Anyway. So, I was kind of digging the whole idea of this book. <clears throat> and then, like, so he's interviewing all these people who, um, Rafferty knew. And then, like, the last chapter of him interviewing people, he's like, yeah, and then I interviewed these people and they told me some stuff that really put the story together and I'm like what what did they say are you gonna tell me or and then it's like um the rest of this is going to be a narrative account that I came up with putting in what I think their emotions would have been at the time because there's no way to tell but you know this is what I think and I'm like what the hell is going on right now I was totally confused and then the book turns from this uh, first-person account to a third-person account um, of Rafferty and Rose Polly and their, like, what happened to make them, what happened to make Rafferty turn into a bad cop. And a lot of it is stuff, I was... A, not super annoyed by it, but, like, it was going over scenes that we had already heard about in the interviews with people. And so, like, we know he hid this gun. We know that he ended up with this money. We know that he stole this fur coat. Like, we, we already know all this stuff. So reading a story about it where, like, the suspense is going to be, is he going to do it? Like, is he really going to stoop to this level um, to be a bad cop? Is he really going to do these things? Um, it fell kind of flat. But wait, there's more. Okay? So, <laughs> this book's going, right? And, um, in the very beginning, if you remember the video I did about reading the first chapters, and he talks about, like, the horrors that this dude did, and just, like, he was having nightmares about it. Um, I'm expecting... Because I've, I've read some stuff, you know, so I'm expecting some pretty hardcore stuff. And I mean, some bad stuff happens, but it's not 
anywhere near. And this guy just came back from the war. He's seen some horrific stuff. So, the stuff that he's saying that Rafferty's done, like, I think he oversold a bit. So, this, this is where, um, the book completely jumped the shark for me. Okay, are you ready for this? The book. Because remember, we had first person from the reporter, and then we had third person for half the book. The last chapter of this book... Oh, it's told in second person. Yes, I, I, I said that correctly. It's told in second person. And there is no choose-your-own-adventure here, okay? I'm not playing D&D. I'm not rolling dice. This, there is a chapter of this book that the majority of it is told in second person. Second person is a theory you're not supposed to do it, people. If you're a writer out there going, I wonder if I want to write something in second person, the answer is no. Unless you're writing a D&D &D, um, dungeon crawl manual, or unless you are writing a Choose Your Own Adventure book. If you are not doing those two things, you do not write in second person. It is not a thing you do, and you should never, ever try it. Okay, so, then, after this bonkers second person chapter, the book ends with a newspaper clipping. Are you effing kidding me here? I don't know if I want to trust this writer again. If you guys have read some Ballinger books, please let me know what you think. There was one that I thought I had already read. I um, can't remember what it was called, but I was going through my Goodreads, um, and I distinctly remember the book. I can't remember the title, so this is a pointless conversation. But I do have... Um, a Ballinger book on my TBR from last month that I never got to that I was actually thinking of putting in um, one of these um, prompts. Um, but the thing with Ballinger books compared to his um, contemporaries at the time, his books are a little, like, bigger like, um, there's, they're usually like, um, I don't know, like in ebook form, they're usually about, um, a hundred to 150 pages longer, um, than his contemporaries. And when you're trying to read a bunch of books for an event, the shorter, the better, right? But also when this person plays games with you like changing the writing perspective and even going to second person I, I can't even remember the last book I read that went into second person and it's not like oh this guy's a visionary there's a reason why people don't do this um and honestly, we're going to be, you're going to be hearing this from me a lot because this keeps happening. And a lot of it is because of the time of the books that I've been reading lately. But I am over epistolary um, works. Like, just like when you're reading a book and the whole book, like, like Dracula, like um, a letter, a journal entry, a recording, a letter, a journal entry. Like, I'm just tell me a freaking story. Like, I don't need evidence. I'm not a court of law. Like, just tell me a story. Entertain me. 
Okay, so I gave Rafferty three stars. I don't know why. I feel like I should have given it two um, for second person alone. Um, but I don't know. Like, I read it. I was, I never once thought I should stop reading, you know? Um, but I think a lot of that, too, was because of the promises I was made at the beginning of the book. And those promises weren't fulfilled. Um, so maybe I need to be a little more judgmental about this book. I don't know. If you read it, let me know down below if you liked it. If this book sounds like a book you would read because of all the madness I just talked to you about, let me know down below. Um, but yeah, so a uh, single title is done. Um, and I'm moving on to number now. So I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.